grinding nails. You can't imagine what X-Men told Nigerians. He said they own Nigeria because their Baba is Fulani. Fali reports. According to Fali, an average eight man ignorantly believes that he owns everything in Nigeria because President Muhammad Buhari is a Fulani. A former secretary to the government of the Federation Chief Olu Fali has condemned the constant attack on farmers in the southern part of the country by Moradin Etsmen. According to Fali, an average Etsmen ignorantly believes that he owns everything in Nigeria because their father, Mr. Modibar, is a Fulani. The former SFG Olu Fali, and if they can no longer provide for these people, it is for you to make power or to take power of these people. It is for you to take part of the money you are receiving from Abuja on their behalf every month to create grazing reserves and water for your people. But you are now conspiring with them, coming down to other people's domain, causing problems for other people. And I also support that some political manipulations are going on. When I was a child, eight men were our friends. They would bring their cows here and we would sing with them after selling their cows. They were not threatened anyway. Any, they don't threaten anybody and they are not wicked the way they are wicked now. But in the last 10 years or 15 years, they became violent and they have become a different thing automatically. They have become a different thing altogether and I suspect that it was because the president is a fool and me. The ordinary ex men ignorantly believes that they own everything in the country. Both all of us in Nigeria and whatever we possess. For example, a few years ago, one of the eight men hanging around my farm met one of my workers and asked my workers why I was disturbing them, that I should be planting enemies on one side and allow them to graze on the other side, even on the farm. He was proposing that I should share my farm with him. As such a person got any sense of property rights. Did he think that he has no right he has no right in the in that place? <laughs> so this is a new development for X Men to think that they own what you have and that you must share what you have with them. As I have said they are natural factors responsible for pushing them down. They should push them down south, but the state government of where they come from always has a, a responsibility to take after them. When they saw that the uh, Almagiris was not a good thing, they decided to end it and decided to carry Almagiri from one place to another. Vanguard quoted the farmer SGF as saying, Speaking on the recent NSAS protest, Fali said, So, don't tell me that the protest is dangerous. Peaceful protest is healthy. It is a part of democracy. When a peaceful protest is hijacked, then the question is why and by who? Indeed, it is not those who organize a peaceful process. You don't hijack your peaceful process. It is other people who could have been put up 
by the government to give a door to give a door a bad name and hang it. The way the exercise process was organized, I was impressed and it was matured, peaceful and patriotic. The security people saw that it was developing a lot on interest of interest by having responsible and to destroy and give them bad name. They shot at them. You can imagine. They, sh- they organized these people and shot at them. And this is so, so not even um, good enough. It's not good enough. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. With all these people have just said, it's so annoying. Recognizing someone and you shoot or shot at these people. So, like, why did they shoot at them? For what reason? I don't know. These people are so wicked. They are wicked and heartless. They don't even care about anybody. This is not fair. <coughs> this is unfair to me. I don't buy the idea. They are so wicked and they should not be pitied. When the time comes for them to be persecuted, I think they should. The president should go ahead and release them. Let them go. And the idea of when you see any external Boko Haram, don't revenge. Don't retaliate. That's bullshit. If they keep killing your family or the loved ones, you just watch them and they, uh, they kill them without revenging. That is a blunt lie. It's going to never be be possible as I said why is this an human that is why they have the right to take over Nigeria from everybody not even taking over Nigeria they do Nigerian citizens as well imagine these cattle elders from across from across the West African they they have criminal att- tendencies this problem has been with us for more than 50 years now. So we should find audience solutions rather than making wide ethnic bias statements. Yes. This person that just said that just said this rubbish is a useful idiot from the West. Look at what he's saying. Maybe his uncle is holding one stupid post where he he get peanuts with Buhari. That is why he can open his mouth and talk this rubbish. He's a coward. He's a coward as far as I'm concerned. The truth is that once they see money, they don't even look back. They still think whatever things they are trying to do. It's not foolishness. They all are with cows. That's why they behave, they are behaving like cows. Look at what he's saying. Imagine. This is so, so stupid of these X Men uh, people. Anyways, it's not their fault. The fault is on President Mudibari for allowing them to, to keep staying back in Nigeria. Even when they, are, they persecute them or they have been arrested. So, viewers, what is your take on this? What do you have to say concerning what you've just heard? Your comment concerning these news is of great importance. Kindly drop them down below the comment box. Click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to get more updates whenever I upload new videos. Thank you.